Learn how to connect to ELD. Download the ELD Mandate HOS from the Google Play Store and open the app. Now you need to click on OK for this note, which describes why we collect the location data. Then in this Location Permission dialog, you have to select the While Using the App option to allow the location permission. After that, you have to allow the nearby devices permission. Then you must allow to notification permission. All these are necessary for our app to run smoothly. Now enter your user credentials to log into the application. This is the user guide you can go through it. Then acknowledge and click submit to continue. These are the basic instructions need to follow. Click on continue now. Here you need to select your respective power unit and then click on move to trailer selection. Here you can choose your trailer and then click on done. Now you need to click on the search devices button. Select the ELD type that is PT30 or IO6. Now select the ELD device that is connected to your power unit from the ECM linked devices page. Once you select that yield is successfully connected, this page will display the ELD acquired VIN from the ELD hardware and the power unit VIN. So here, both VINs are mismatched. It will show a message to check and proceed further. Clicking on the move to the dashboard, you are now ready to start your duty. In the dashboard, it will show the status of the ELD connection, whether it is connected or disconnected. How to connect to ELD device from dashboard. You can also connect to the ELD device from the dashboard by clicking on the connect button. From here, it will be the same steps you need to follow to connect your ELD device. Search devices, upon which you will be promoted to select your respective ELD type and select your respect to ELD, which is connected to your power unit, and it will show the connection status on the device connected page. So in this case, the ELD acquired VIN is invalid. You can reselect your ELD power unit, or you can continue to move to dashboard. If you choose to move to the dashboard, then the app will use the power unit VIN as valid. So with this, you're successfully connected to your ELD, and now you are ready to start your day. How to turn on Bluetooth in order to make a successful ELD connection. So in this scenario, let's see how we need to turn on the Bluetooth and allow for the new connections in order to search and connect to your ELD device. Click on Connect. If Bluetooth is turned off, app will prompt you to turn on the Bluetooth through this alert dialog where you have to allow to turn on Bluetooth. And then again, then all the steps are same. You need to select your respective ELD type and then select your ELD. Here you can notice there are two sections in the ECM linked devices page. One is previously connected devices and the second one is available devices. This is to help you to recognize the previously connected ELD device and proceed accordingly with very little effort. So after successful connection, it will move to the device connected page where it will show whether the ELD acquired VIN and power unit VIN match or not. If these are not matching, it will show a message as you can see here the ELD acquired. When is invalid, either you can reselect the ELD in a power unit or you can move to dashboard with power unit VIN if and only if you are confident that power unit VIN is correct one. So now you are successfully connected to the ELD and you are ready to start your day.